I stopped what I was doing immediately to say this. Do you know what just happened? Do you understand? Do you get it? AD is a Laker now, bro. It's real. It's about to go down. It, it, it. This, is, this is some big stuff. This is some big-ish right here. For a lot of you who don't know, like and subscribe, please stay. A lot of you who don't know, they have been trying to get AD since last year's trade deadline. Or since th this year's trade deadline. Didn't work out. There was a part of me that maybe thought you could pull off some type of miracle deal. It's not going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. But they, upon Magic leaving and vacating his post, were able to do more than what he did. I mean, yeah, you got LeBron, but LeBron was apparently coming there anyway. But now, for the first time in, I think, his career... He has a player that is in his same realm of expertise, within his same realm of physique, of actual going to be somewhat greatness. And he's still somewhat in his prime. You can make the argument of Dwayne Wade being as good as or, or Kyrie. Not like this. Like a poor, like th th this is on this. It's real, man. It is real. I'm actually, I'm happy. I'm actually happy for him. He, he's, I've gone on record and saying he's one of the most unlucky superstars ever. He got drafted into a trash organization that had no business to have him in the first place. Once he got there, they didn't utilize him properly. They didn't give him enough help. They didn't, they didn't really appreciate him either. I mean, the man left twice. You've got to be especially bad to leave somewhere twice. Like I gave, I came out of, out of my, the greatness of my own heart. I came back here to come and save you, to to salvage you from the depths, and this is how you repay me. This is this is what you do. No, right now, this is going to be an amazing off season. Kevin Durant's injur injury has just it's changed the entire landscape of the NBA as we know it. There was supposedly going to be a package deal with him and Kyrie going to the Knicks. Now that he's injured, that's no longer going to happen. Apparently, he may even stay with the Warriors because they guarantee his Supermax, him and Clay are down. They both ways may stay with the Warriors. Kyrie, there's no reason to go to the Knicks. What's there? <laughs> Nothing. You've got, yeah, it's Madison Square Garden, but okay. Like, that, that's not good enough. We need to go somewhere now, and we need to win. And a lot of you may be wondering, well, 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 how, well what, what did they trade him for? Well, who, uh, tell me. I will tell you. They got rid of Brandon Ingram. They got rid of Lonzo. They got rid of, like, three first-round draft picks. They got rid of Josh Hart. What's funny is that the fact that they got rid of Lonzo, his non-shooting self, his missing layup self, big baller brand self, $500 shoes when you haven't done anything yet to deserve such expensive level of, of what? They said bye to him. He's on the Pelicans now. I mean, yeah, you've got Zion. You're going to get Zion. That Pelicans are going to be something now. They're probably going to be like a top 10 team now, I guess. I don't know. Top 8. But this, this is major. This is really major. They are a lock. Lock! They are spring-loaded to get to the finals next year. At least the Western Conference Finals. If there was any, any doubt before, that doubt is gone. Now, Kyrie, in order to make my 2K roster legit, you must also come here as well. Why would you go to the Nets? You're not winning on the Nets. You will get destroyed by either the Raptors, the Sixers, or the Bucks. Come on in! Here, where, where stuff. I mean, now over here, I'm in Michigan, but come over there. Go over there. You know, you want it, it's Brian, Brian, Kyrie, and, and look at all of that. The NBA is going to get real fun to watch again. Warriors Dynasty is pretty much as it's in ragged tatters, unfortunately. But we Showtime Lakers will be back. Citizens of LA will be able to riot again, guys, tear their own city up for winning. Yes, this is what the NBA needs. 
I guarantee you they will get somebody else of worth now. Because if it wasn't so attractive with LeBron just being there because the air around him is quote unquote toxic as what Kevin Durant said, which I do understand that heavy is the head that's on the king's heavy is the crown that's on the king's shoulders. I mean, you've got if, if someone's the best, you want to compete against them. You don't necessarily want to join them. And even if you do join them, if LeBron, if the team wins, it's LeBron who got you the victory. If they lose, he didn't have enough help. You didn't help him. So I understand that. But Anthony Davis been trying his damn hardest to get the hell out of there. He's been trying. And the new, the new, I think David Griffin is their GM. He talked to him. He's like, sit down. What's the chance of you staying? No, no. No, bye, no, but but we've got Zion. No. They sent him off. I, I hope he's happy. He look he looks good in the Lakers uniform. I thought LeBron too. He was like, eh, kind of weird. It took me like half the season to get used to it. But this right here, this is great. This is real great. I can't wait for the season to start. This is gonna be a newly invigorated Bron, a big boy. Full on rest, load management summer, load management playoffs. That's gonna be like, I can't wait. If you are, if any of you are excited for this NBA season, do tell me below. This this is gonna be great. I I can't. I, I I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe. I will holler at you later.